guys, Jimmy here with another video for you. So in today's video, I would like to talk to you about something that's kind of been weighing heavily on me. Um, and I feel like people are being misled, maybe even ripped off. So over the weekend, I was looking at Facebook and I seen a lot of suggested ads, you know, su suggested for you, whatever. And I seen a lot of Liberty Safe ads. Now on these ads, they were talking about Liberty Safes and I seen the motto, you know, always protected, Liberty Safe, always protected. And I'm looking at their model lineup and I noticed that they're not very open about the specifications, right, on their safe. And what I mean is when you click on their safe, you can't see how, what gauge, you know, what gauge thickness the safe is. And I'm talking about the walls, of course, because the door, like, nobody's going to try to pry into a door of a modern gun safe, uh, a good safe, right? Like a decent safe like Liberty. They're not going to try to pry into the door. They're going to try to cut into it. But we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm seeing these ads and I'm looking at some of the models. Now, I look at one model in particular. I believe it was $39.99, right? And I bring up this safe and I discover that it's 12 gauge steel. So you're getting something that the walls, right? And the top and, and all that at the bottom are as thick as the tip of a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver. That's what you're getting for $4,000. Now, if this is a 60 gun you know, safe and you have 60 guns that are $500 a piece, you've got $30,000 worth of firearms in the safe. <clears throat> so I'm sitting here thinking about this and Understand that a Liberty Safe will protect you against a fire or a pry attack. And what I mean by pry attack is someone using a crowbar like this and trying to pry the door open, which no real thief's going to do because they know that the the um, it's a waste of time, right? Like you're not going to pry into a gun safe with a pry bar anymore. Like it's not going to happen, especially if it's bolted down and it should be. What you're going to do is you're going to show up with something like this, right? A cutting wheel. You're going to show up with a cutting wheel and you're going to cut three sides and roll it down and then you're going to get all the guns out. So I'm not saying that to try to help any thieves break into a safe. I'm saying that because you need to understand if you purchase a Liberty safe, you need to have it bolted down and it needs to be covered on the sides or in a closet or something to where people can't cut the sides or top. Because if they can get to the sides or top of your Liberty safe, you're not protected. I'm not kidding you. Like maybe someone just kicking in your door and try to pry into it with a little pry bar that's going to be protected or, or a fire like we said. But if you've got $30,000 worth of firearms in there, you might want to think about that a little bit. Um, is this a false sense of security? And I think a lot of times with Liberty Safe, I think that's what you're getting is a false sense of security. So understand that, right? Understand that even if you spend $5,000 for a Liberty Safe, the most you're going to get is like 11 to 10 gauge steel. Now, my current safe is a Homeland Safe. I'm not trying to advertise for them, but I am going to tell you this safe was handmade, made in America, like Liberty Safe. And it was seven gauge steel and I paid $2,700 after delivery and tax and all of that. So this thing's pretty secure. No safe is impenetrable, but understand that it's going to take someone 30 minutes to an hour to get in my safe. And that's, that's, you know, to me, that's worth it. If someone shows up with serious tools, right? And I'm talking cutoff wheels or, you know, maybe like a torch or something like that, or a circular saw with a steel cutting blade or something like that. It's going to take them 30 minutes to an hour to even get into the safe and then they have to get in there and try to get through and unload unload everything out of there and i have cameras on the safe and all that so it's layered security no no safe is is impenetrable but understand a lot of people are being misled over liberty safes am i going to spend four thousand dollars for a gun cabinet is what i'm going to call it that's let's say 11 gauge steel right at best 11 gauge steel on liberty's website I'm not going to put 60 guns in that. I'm sorry, I'm just not going to. Especially if they're uh, sentimental and they mean something and, and it's something money can't replace. I'm not going to put those in a Liberty Safe because I know that someone can take an air chisel or a cutoff wheel and just cut the side out, roll it down, and they get all my stuff out. So understand that, guys. When you're buying a Liberty Safe, you're kind of buying a name anymore. They, they, have, they have reduced the thickness of the steel on these safes to make them more cost efficient so that more people can buy them, but you're giving up security for cost. And that's something that with a gun safe, you don't want to do. If you're buying a Liberty safe, to me, um, I just kind of, unless you get a crazy deal on it, I think you're out of your mind because, you know, companies like Homeland Safe, um, they, they make safes. Now you could argue, well, their, their locking bolts aren't like state of the art or their locks aren't, whatever you want to say about them. Locks are not where gun safes are defeated, usually, any, any modern ones. They're defeated by people either prying them open or cutting the sides out. And the thicker the steel, the better. So just understand that you're getting a false sense of security with a lot of these Liberty safes unless you're spending six or $7,000. And by, you know, by that time, you might as well go buy a Fort Knox. That's just the way I see it. So um, yeah, I just wanted to get this information out there and try to help some of you because I think you're being misled.